Well, Brian, this means that Cicilline's seat will be up for grabs. So this is really the big part of the story right here. NBC 10 political analyst Wendy Schiller joins us now. Thank you so much for being with us today. My pleasure. So, Wendy, the big question is when will a special election be held? What can we expect for whoever takes over Cicilline's seat? Well, there's going to be a primary, there's going to be a general election, it's up to the governor. Uh, we want to get somebody, I would argue, in that seat as soon as we can, because you don't want to leave Rhode Island with only two congressional seats without one representative. And these votes will be very close in Congress, and I think the Democrats are hoping uh, to win that seat, keep that seat, and, and fill that seat uh, by the time the debt ceiling is considered, which is, um, you know, early summer. Right. So speaking of that, what does that mean for the House right now? Because we know that the Republicans and the Democrats, they have a pretty close margin overall. They do. I mean, it gives Republicans a little bit of breathing room because they have a slightly bigger margin now, but that won't last and there could be Republican vacancies coming up. So, you know, I think the issue of his not deciding uh, on a timely fashion works both ways. It's not as if he's taking some big corporate job somewhere else. He's coming back to Rhode Island to work for the Rhode Island Foundation and work in the same set of issue areas he's always had. So I think he can defend himself that way. And it does open up a seat that that's been held by a man for a long time and possibly we haven't had a woman uh, in the house since Claudine Schneider open it up for women to run. So speaking of that, I know that it's very early on in this process because the governor still has to announce a special election. That can't happen until after Cicilline actually resigns. So we're talking about, you know, June at the earliest for this. But once that happens, do you have any guesses on who may throw their hat into the ring? I think anybody who wants to be a member of the House is going to throw themselves into the ring. I think we have a few women that would like to be there, particularly uh, Latino women. And I think it's going to be a bit of a free-for-all. I think you're going to have to be progressive to the left of center, unlike the second congressional district, which is more conservative, uh, to win this seat and certainly to win a primary. So I, I think there'll be a few people. The person with the most name recognition or the best constituency base has the running head start here. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see whether Cicilline has to stay out of that that uh, and not endorse anybody and not get involved to you know determine who he'll, his replacement will be. So this will really be up to Governor McKee as to when the special election and when the primaries will take place. Could he kind of play around with this if he has a candidate who he has his eye on, for example, but may need a few more months? Could he do that? Could he push it down further? I don't think he needs to do that. McKee won decisively. I think he was coming off a pretty big win, pretty happy, comfortable win from his governor. It's in his interest to stand back, just do procedurally what he's supposed to do, set the date, and then step back and stay out of it. I think that would be my advice to the governor. Just he's got enough to do. He doesn't have to get involved in this. Uh, and also the Republicans may take a shot at this district. You know, in the early years, Cicilline had formidable challengers on the Republican side. So it's possible you don't have to live in the district. Remember um, right. that, uh, you know, Republican uh, from somewhere in the state could decide I, I may have a shot. It's just districted in such a way that leans more Democratic, more left than right. So it's a challenge, but it's uh, not out of the question. All right, Wendy Schiller live for us in the studio. Thank you so much for your insight on that. We appreciate it.